Greetings to my channel viewing audience. Jimmy and Shane Black, and I'm back. I'm back in person. I hope I can make the green screen work like I used to. But today I figured there's so much serious shit going on. Let us have a little bit of fun, chill with Joe Viewer. And I want to talk to you about the new black face of Star Wars. That would be Moses Ingram. There you go. Now, Moses Ingram plays a character called Reva in the Obi-Wan series that came out on the 27th. I haven't watched it. I don't intend to watch it. I look at the reviews. Um, personally, I look at what? The Critical Drinker, Nerd Roddy, uh, and there's one that I just can't really think of their name right now. But Nerd Roddy covered episode three and it's just that this shit is, it's a bait and switch. Bait and switch. Oh, here's the Obi-Wan and Kenobi show. And then it's full of Reva, or Moses Ingram, shall we say. And I call her the black face of Star Wars for this simple fact. I want you to look up a couple of actors. Uh, step and fetch. Now, hold on. Let me access the teleprompter real quick. Uh, well, first, uh, let me get some vitamins first because I'm going to have to have both hands available. Mm. So, first one I'm going to want you to look at is Step and Fetch It. And that's S T E P I N. Step in and then Fetch It. Two words. His name was Lincoln, Theodore, Monroe, Andrew Perry. Wow, that is a mouthful, like 15 fucking names. But he was an actor. Uh, born in 1902, died in 1985. But he was characterized as being lazy, shiftless, what it says here. He was billed as the laziest man in the world. Hold on, gentle viewer. So, as I was saying, he was billed as the laziest man in the world. However, Perry was the first black actor to earn $1 million. And he was also the first black actor to receive a featured screen credit in a film. Now, another one that I'd like you to look at, another actor that is, is William Best. Sometimes, as in most of the time, known as Sleep In Eat. So Sleep In Eat. Hold on. Dog on thing comes again. Hold on. That should be taken care of now, gentle viewer. But Sleep and Eat played in more than 100 or played roles in more than 100 films in the 30s and 40s. Now, these two black actors played idiots, lazy and shiftless individuals on the screen, but off screen, they were intelligent and competent individuals. Both started off as comedians. But then, now you have Moses Ingram, who says this. Just have a look at the screen, gentle viewer. As you saw on the screen, she says, if you, you know, you've got talking droids and stuff, but no people of color, it doesn't make sense. Now, the last time that I checked, Star Wars had hell of people of color like this. You see, that is the difference. The Willie Best and um, Harry, Step and Fetch It, played fools on the screen but were intelligent off screen. Uh, 
Moses Ingram may say things that are intelligent on screen because somebody else wrote the script. Somebody more intelligent, intelligent than she is. However, off screen, she says some of the dumbest shit you can imagine. And that is the difference there. That is why she is the new black face of Star Wars, but not the way that you're thinking. Anyway, I just thought we'd have a bit of fun. I'd make my reappearance and then we'll see we'll see what else I do if I do anything else this